Look for at the top of Cyrus Mitchell to have some chance of a contested catch. Well, here's Schrader buying time, extending the play. He's going to try and run for it. Leaps, gets spun around down to the 20 yard line. Where will they spot the football? It looks like he's short by a yard. I think it's probably closer to the 20 and a half, right? Because it's tucked in his right arm, right inside of it. Yep. It's a perfect right spot the for the officials. Yeah. But how about the effort by the true freshman? Listen, fourth and 15. Incredible effort. Formation this time for Jackson. Takes a snap. Looks, throws a pass out. But intercepted by Gerald Neesman of Kansas State. Neesman laterals it to Jared Cooper. 10-5. Touchdown, Kansas State. What a play by Neesman. He picked off the pass and then had the presence of mind to flip it over to Cooper, who runs it in, and the Cats now lead 24 to 7. Second and 10 from the 22. Roberson option, short side right. Good pitch to Darren. Sproles at the 20. He's at the 15. 10, 5, chugging. Touchdown, Darren Sproles. That is amazing. 22 yards for Darren Sproles, his 13th rushing touchdown of the year. Fullback Travis Wilson. Travis Wilson drove the star free safety Josh Felix not only to the sideline, completely off the field. From the numbers, he drove him about 10 yards out of the way, giving Darren Sproles the maximum. Not those missed assignments. Second down and 10 at the 19-yard line. They give it to Deuce. Deuce. Oh, what a shifty move. Deuce on the loose again. Touchdown. K-State, Deuce, Making people miss in a phone booth. First Vaughn is going to head to his right, and the first cut is impressive right here. Sets him up outside, boom, and then he goes right back to the inside on Overshone right here. Boom, slides to his right. Now he slides back to his right. Vaughn is just so good, has great vision, peripheral vision to get him. Cicerone alongside Petty. All day to throw, good coverage downfield, forces Petty out of the pocket. He's tripped up, beautiful play. That ball's taken away! Mueller! They're gonna call him down. What a play! That could be the one. And they can utilize that with the speed that they have at wide receiver, and, and just Yurch's ability to throw the ball at the top as we see a run here into the end zone for the Wildcats. Straight ahead running by Mike McCoy, the redshirt freshman, and he gets his first collegiate touchdown. Twin receivers to the right, Lockett to the left, Waters to throw, there's the fade, and it is caught, one hit by Curry Sexton! Oh my, what a play that was! Kansas State scores, Curry Sexton on the fade, catches it with one hand. He was covered by Austin Stewart. You gotta be kidding, that was brilliant. Curry Sexton has his first two touchdown reception game. <laughs> As he makes a catch there, he's over 100 yards. And you're right, as a slot receiver, he ran. Play by Kevin Lockett, a six foot, 165 pound redshirt freshman. We mentioned earlier a 34 inch vertical leap. He uses the leap and the right hand and a spectacular catch. A 50 yard play for the Cats, and they're now down at the Colorado 16. Rolls right behind Roberson. The pitch to Sproul. What a move! To the 20 up to the 24 yard line. The Sean Hill comes up to make the stop, but a little Barry Sanders kind of move. Watch, watch number six, my, Matt Grotegood for USC. He's in perfect position to make the play, but with that move, he actually ended up taking out a couple of his teammates before Deshaun Hill ended up making it. Back to throw his straw, throwing near side. Mike Smith makes the catch! What a catch! Today. Makes his tech from their own four after a wonderful punt by Zetner. Nice. How about that? Could it be a safety? Very it yep. is. Yep, it is. And they're calling it. And it's Azuma. Watch how quick he plays on the other side of the line of scrimmage. He just rushes through there so fast, Timmy. I mean, Felix and Utica Azuma. Wonderful job of him just discerning where the play was going oh, to go. Man, what a play that was. Sarkeesian changing it up. Just got away from Timmons. Now upfield, and the catch is made. And what a hit. The ball came loose. McGuire, did he make the catch? No, incomplete. And it was Mario Smith. 
But that was Kealua that got held. And watch the ball come right in. Boom! Big hit. Helmet off. Mario Smith jars the ball loose. Incomplete. Vaughn gets the edge. Deuce Vaughn in the clear. Can he make a man miss? And it's easy. Touchdown, Kansas State. And the catch getting closer to the conference championship and watch this play designed to go to the right bang there's another example of how you never know where it might go with deuce vaughn great job of feeling that play design to go to your right colin klein is doing things without his top receiver finding a way to get 22 involved done from the shotgun looking pumps now throws nice crossing route terry at the five leaps touchdown comes in motion across the formation to the left and here's a ball batted down at the line of scrimmage by the Wildcats Scott Edmonds with just 32 seconds to go in the half the kick blocked Kansas State blocked it Newman picks it up at the 10 he's at the 20 now at the 30 still on his feet across the field from right to left he's at midfield to the 40 he's to the 30 Newman to the 20 he is going to score can you believe it? Bishop gets a snap. He's rolling in the pocket. He's being hit, and he's going to go. Now yeah, he's still on his feet. Gets away from the two defenders, rolls to the near side. Now he's going to launch the ball downfield. His throw, Gavin Paris. It's a jump ball situation. Paris makes a catch inside the five at the three, and it's a first down for Kansas State. That is unbelievable.